How to Perform a Bubble Point Integrity Test with Scott Laboratories. In this video, we'll cover what a bubble point test is and when it's appropriate to perform one, the testing protocol, and what to do if your filter fails the bubble point test. Why do we perform integrity testing? In the beverage industry, we typically perform integrity tests on sterile membrane cartridges used during packaging. Integrity tests confirm that the cartridge is doing its job, which is filtering out everything larger than its rated porosity. These cartridges are commonly rated at 0.45 microns and remove yeast and bacteria. Integrity tests should be performed prior to packaging to ensure the cartridge is working and should be performed again after packaging to confirm the cartridge worked the entire time. However, depending on your facility's throughput and procedures, integrity testing may be performed at certain intervals during the packaging process as well. There are three common integrity tests. Pressure hold test, which is best for single round housings, a bubble point test, which is only for single round housings, and a pressure diffusion test, which is best and most accurate for both single and multiple round housings. This video will discuss bubble point testing, which as a reminder is only appropriate for single round cartridge housings. What is bubble point testing? During filtration, we push wine through pores in the filter media. During a bubble point test, we fill those pores with water and the water stays within those pores due to surface tension. The goal of the bubble point test is to determine at what pressure that surface tension is broken. To do this, we connect the gas to the inlet valve and tubing to the outlet valve, submerging the tubing in water. Then we turn on the gas and slowly increase the pressure until the surface tension of the water inside the pores breaks. At that point, gas can freely flow through the filter and a steady stream of bubbles will emerge from the tubing. The pressure at which this happens is known as the bubble point. It is important to note that the bubble point pressure is not a direct measure of pore size. The bubble point pressure correlates to a value determined by the manufacturer that indicates proper filter function. When the bubble point happens below the manufacturer specified minimum value, this indicates something is awry. The bubble point value is set by the manufacturer and will vary by filter and brand. How to perform a bubble point test. You will need a single round filter housing. Reminder, you can only integrity test using bubble point on single round filter housings. A cartridge filter, two hose barbs, a bucket of water, tubing, we recommend quarter inch tubing, compressed filtered air, nitrogen or argon, do not use carbon dioxide for your test gas. It is a soluble gas that will give you inaccurate readings. And a pressure regulator. Note, the gauge connected to the pressure regulator should have subdivisions of at least 0.5 PSI and the ability to measure up to 60 PSI. You can also use a digital pressure gauge. Now we'll begin the procedure. Step one, record the cartridge filter part number, lot number, and product information include physical observations of the cartridge as well. Step two, using gloves, install the cartridge in the housing. To do this, wet the base of the housing and the base of the cartridge, then twist the cartridge into place to securely lock it into the base. Then wet the bottom of the dome and secure it in place. Step three, please note we do not have footage of this step. Perform a sanitization procedure with hot water or steam according to the standard operating procedures of your facility or cartridge manufacturer. Ensure the cartridge and housing have properly cooled before performing bubble point. After sanitization, ensure that no fittings or connections touch the floor. Keep fittings stored in a sanitary area or in a bucket containing SO2 or citric. Ensure all end connections like valves and hoses are off the floor and away from any potential debris. Step four. The filter is now ready to be wetted. This is simple, but critical. Step 4A, attach tubing to the top vent valve. Typically, people direct this to the floor or a bucket. Step 4B, before you begin, the outlet valve should be closed and the top vent valve should be open. Water should be connected to the inlet, but the inlet should be closed. Step 4C, open the inlet to begin filling the housing with water. Be aware of the inlet pressure and open the valve slowly if your water source has high pressure. Step 4D. Wait for water to flow out of the top vent valve. Then close the top vent valve and open the outlet valve. Step 4E. Adjust the outlet valve to achieve back pressure. 
the outlet pressure gauge should read 3 to 5 PSI. Step 4F. Continue running water through the housing under back pressure for 10 to 15 minutes. During this process, open and close the top vent valve two to three more times to ensure all bubbles have been perched. After 10 to 15 minutes, stop the pump or switch off the water source. Step 5. Drain the water in the housing by opening the vents and valves. During this step, do not use gas to help drain the housing. This may lead to a failed integrity test. Instead, open all the vents and valves and let the housing drain by itself. Once your housing is empty, close all vents and valves except the inlet. Step six, connect your gas source to the inlet port of the filter using one of your hose barb adapters. Step seven, connect a piece of flexible tubing to the outlet port of the filter with the other hose barb adapter and submerge in a bucket of water. You can clip the tubing to the bucket if it is not staying submerged. Step eight, start with zero pressure. Using the pressure regulator on your gas source, gradually increase the pressure until the gauge on the top of the housing reads about 5 PSI. An initial stream of bubbles will appear, but this is not a failure. Step 9. Wait for bubbles to dissipate and continue increasing the pressure by increments of about 5 PSI. Continue watching the submerged end of the tubing while slowly increasing the pressure. Step 10. When a steady stream of bubbles appears, note that pressure as the bubble point. Pro tip, do not stop if you reach the minimum bubble point value and bubbles have not appeared. The actual bubble point is often much higher than the minimum value. Over time, the bubble point pressure will decrease, but should not drop below the minimum value. What do you do if your filter fails the bubble point test? If you fail the bubble point test, it does not automatically mean the filter is defective. Here are a few steps that can help troubleshoot the issue. Rewetting the filter. The most common problem with bubble point tests is improper wetting. If the filter was improperly wetted and if gas wasn't completely expelled from the filter pores, the test can return artificially low values. Try rewetting the filter and conducting the integrity test again. To rewet the cartridge, start the procedure over at step three. Ensure you achieve five PSI of back pressure read on the outlet valve. And ensure you vent any trapped air bubbles from the top of the housing. Conduct the integrity test again by performing steps four through nine. Checking for leaks. If you fail the integrity test again after re-wetting the filter, empty the filter by opening the outlet valve and perform a pressure hold test. Close the outlet valve and bring the pressure up to one bar or 14 PSI. Wait two minutes to see if the pressure drops on the outlet valve gauge. If it does, inspect your housing and check all valves, ports, and any threaded connections for leaks. Open the housing and inspect. If you do not find any obvious leaks, open the housing and inspect to confirm the filter was not damaged or warped during sanitization. Confirm the filter was installed correctly and is securely locked into the base of the housing. Ensure the cartridge O-rings are in place and in good condition. If they have any damage, it will cause a failure. Confirm the base O-ring doesn't have any cracks, tears, or damage. If your housing has a removable base plate, take off the base plate and check the stem O-rings on the inlet for any damage. Contact us. If you continue to fail bubble point after re-wetting and retesting the filter and you've ensured all equipment is in good working order, please contact Scott Laboratories for technical support.